With the start of 2016 comes the start of the new varsity school year and registration. This year, that has meant the resurgence of the Fees Must Fall campaign. It was the first day of registration for uh, most students returning today. Um, we've had some disruptions to the uh, registration and enrollment uh, process, but the registration and enrollment processes continue. Um, we are assessing the situation at the moment. The holdup is because the fees office remains shut. Um, we're looking at whether we should reopen that. There are different student groups. There is the SRC, but they look like there are other student groups as well. Management did try to engage with the students this morning, uh, and they said they would uh, contact us when they were ready with their demands. They're protesting for free quality higher education uh, and we support their call for that, for their quest for that. Um, the question is where are the resources coming from at this stage? While the students have not made any formal demands, the rhetoric surrounding the protest focuses mainly on financial exclusion. Vitz University has already waived their registration fees and the next steps to resolve students' grievances will come following a formal meeting between the university and student leaders. On the financial exclusions, we have um, uh, looked at some of our uh, systems here and we have agreed that there will be no upfront payments, there will be no registration fee. People can come in, enroll, register uh, without paying anything. The first instalment, which was due at the end of January this uh, 2016, will now be due at the end of March 2016. At WITS this year, we've had 70,000 applications for um, uh, normally 5,500 spaces. We've increased that now to 6,200 spaces to give people more access to higher education. But that's the maximum we can take. We are bursting at the seams. This is a national imperative. We have to, we've got a functional higher education system on the continent. Um, let's make it work. Let's see how we can expand it. I'm Samuel Gebhardt for Joburg Today.